Good afternoon everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. It's the 13th of May, which coincidentally happens to be my birthday. And I'm going to start work on installing a mowing strip on my lawn today. Um, I've only got a very small area of lawn, but it's uh, a pain in the backside to cut the grass. Because every time... Uh, when you, when you cut the grass, you run the lawnmower along. I've got a raised bed, which has uh, got sleepers on it. But every time you try to run the lawnmower along there, obviously it won't cut the grass for the last couple of inches next to the sleeper. So I then have to run along it with an electric, uh, an electric strimmer or trimmer to get all the grass off. So I've decided to make use of some old paving slabs I had and put a mowing strip like I've done here I haven't finished pointing this yet actually but I did this yesterday and obviously the idea is you can just run the lawnmower along the the grass where it joins the mowing strip it's no problem at all and basically all these were with some lifestone paving slabs I had left over from a previous uh, garden and I just got borrowed my neighbour's stone cutter they were they were 12 inch square slabs so I've just um, cut them into six inch strips six inch wide strips 12 inches long and I'm just going to run these along the edge here and all you have to do basically is um, is cut a line along there which uh, I'll probably video a couple of bits just to show what I'm doing just to show how you can uh, set them in the ground but it's not not too big a job but um, it's going to take me a little time to do it on my own might not get it done today but um, that's the intention no chance of having any time off for my birthday still got to do some work but um, I'll carry on and do some uh, do some videoing later okay now what I've done here obviously um, I could uh, I could have marked this all out with a line and a string and put a stick at both ends but to be honest it's only going to be quite rustic along the side of the lawn it hasn't got to be perfect I'm going to lay the stones by hand, I'm not going to use a spirit level. So all I've done is roughly laid the, uh, the slabs out in a line against the uh, decking, just allowing for a bit of unevenness. And all we do initially, just to get started, is to, is to use one of these. I've got a grass cutter here. start cutting out the, uh, the uh, grass. It doesn't matter if you're going wider than the paving slabs because um, obviously all I'm going to do is when I lay them in a straight line if there's any gap I'll backfill with compost and the grass will quickly fill that and on the other side I'm going to have cement leading up into the edge of the uh, the edge of the sleepers which should stop water getting underneath them and causing any rot underneath so uh, what I'll do is make sure that I slope the concrete when I do the rent when I do the rendering I'll make sure that uh, sorry pointing when I do the pointing I'll make sure that the uh, compost has got a slope on it uh, cement has got a slope on it so that the water comes away from here so once you've marked that we have to do is start lifting it up and I'm going to get a shovel in a minute it's only going to be as I said a roughly straight line we start lifting that out give you the trench that, uh, that the stones will lay on the top of. So I'll pause the video for now and carry on when I've got a bit further. Okay, so as you can see, or hopefully see, I've dug about 
I've dug a trench the whole way along here which is about uh, probably only about four inches deep um, having removed the grass and the soil I've leveled it out um, doesn't really need to be very deep because there's not going to be much uh, weight or footfall going along this edge it's only really going to have a, lawn, a light lawnmower run along it I'm not going to be walking on it so it's not like doing a path so all that remains now is to put some hardcore on the bottom of the trench so all I'm using is old bricks and tiles which I'm going to break up with a hammer I rather like this one here which you can probably just about see I only need about two or three inches of hardcore in there, so I'm going to get on with doing that now. I'm not going to carry on running the video because the last thing you want to see is uh, an hour or two of me uh, breaking up hardcore, and I haven't got that much here to do the whole job anyway. But um, that's the plan put about two or three inches of hardcore on the bottom of the trench, and that will give a nice solid base to put some cement on, uh, which will then, these will lay on top of the cement. I should be to get the reasonably level just by hand. So uh, we'll come back later when I've done some of the uh, breaking up of the hardcore rubble and put that in the bottom of the trench. Well, I'm not sure if you can see now with the uh, shadows, but I've actually uh, filled this trench now with uh, broken pieces of um, clay pot and bricks and things all hammered up into small pieces. So uh, we've got a nice hard base now to be able to um, lay the stones on. Uh, what we'll do is obviously as I go along I might have to break up some of the pieces a bit lower and it might need to have some other pieces added in places to get it level but obviously most of the levelling is done with the cement so when I actually lay the cement on there I'll uh, I'll use that to hopefully get the stones looking reasonably level. The, the grass itself isn't level, it goes up and down so it's not going to be perfect but it should make it much easier to maintain and cut the grass and uh, once, uh, once the cement's done in between the, uh, in between the gaps it should, should look quite presentable so we'll see, uh, won't be doing any more of that on that today because uh, it's getting too late and it'll be getting dark but uh, we'll come back and revisit tomorrow once I've uh, laid some of the stones with some cement on see how it's looking. Unfortunately my tripod decided to fall over and snap so I can't film myself uh, laying any bricks but just to show you what I've done here I've so that I get a reasonably straight and level line I've put a string from one end of the trench to the other and I've made myself up some quite wet mortar here because I need it spread out because you have to bed the stones into it and in a minute I'll be moving these uh, stones onto there after I put a little bit of cement on them but I said I can't film myself because unfortunately the tripod's broken but um, there's nothing really interesting to see anyway. Basically, I'm just going to put a thin uh, bed of cement on here, and I'll lay two or three at a time because I'm only making up the cement in batches so it doesn't go off or dry out too much. And um, I'm just going to do them by eye and get them reasonably level. I mean, it's fairly rustic anyway because it goes along the side of the uh, border, and I should end up with something that looks like this that I finished yesterday and obviously I'll uh, when I've done the whole lot I shall come back and film a little bit more okay so here's the finished uh, here's the finished job my uh, lawn mowing strip I started yesterday which was my birthday and I finished today on the 14th and what I've done is I've kicked up the render at the back onto the wooden sleepers, so it's got a it's got a nice uh, it's got a nice upwards uh, slope on it here. And obviously the idea of that is I don't know if I've got the blocks totally level because I didn't use a spirit level. I just did it by eye. And if the water pools when it rains at the back of those blocks it shouldn't sit and rot the wooden sleepers because um, because I've got that kick up on it 
Anyway, that's a finished job. Thought I'd make the most of my uh, time when I can't can't work due to the uh, coronavirus lockdown. Obviously, I've been doing a little bit of work, but anyway, I'm very pleased with that. It's going to make the mowing the grass an awful lot easier. And when the cement's dried in the next day or so, I'll fill the gap in between the blocks and the lawn with some uh, decent compost or topsoil and the grass should fill that and hopefully uh, won't have to do any strimming anymore. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. It's uh, Brett here, Lionheart84. Much appreciate it. Welcome to like the video. Please uh, share it. I don't think anyone will be interested in seeing it. Um, but please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And we'll be back to plants in the next video. And obviously if you uh, click the bell, you will get future updates. Catch up with everybody soon. Look after yourselves.